Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Guidance and messages for Pisces, please Spirit. Let's see what cards want to come out for you. Let's meet these cards. This one here I feel is right for you and be sure to check in with your own intuition because of course this is how spirit brings message messages to you personally and so take notice of any um, images that stand out for your messages that stand out there is something special there for you so this card here says i celebrate success in others and support them wholeheartedly so there's, you're going to hear word, you're going to hear news of someone else's success this week. And I feel that you're going to be sharing in their joy. And this is really powerful, Pisces, because I feel that you're genuinely there. You're genuinely open. And other people that they have around them, they are a little bit fake or they just haven't they haven't done the self-development that they need to bring them to a place where they can fully be happy and ecstatic with this person and to celebrate fully. But you have, and that's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. And so you're going to be there wholeheartedly for them. And this is going to be a strengthening of your bond with this person beautiful okay let's take a look at this deck please spirit for pisces guidance for pisces please spirit okay so i feel that that one there wants to come out for you and this one also let's see what the messages are detox okay so this is about detoxing your life, detoxing an area of your life. This is, you will know what this is about. What do you need to detox? That's something to ask yourself this week. There is something that you need to release, something that is not very positive for you anymore, some habit that you want to break perhaps. So there is... um. There's that energy very strongly supporting you for any kind of detox that you want to perform this week. And grounding yourself is also very important. So we have hematite and shungite. And these, these uh, crystals here may also be very helpful to you at this time. For these two things, for detox and for grounding, so if you have a piece of these crystals uh, lying around or you're working with them consciously already, that's wonderful. But if you have them in your home, work with them, put them somewhere prominent or you might find that you want to bring one of these stones into your, into your home or to wear as jewelry perhaps in some fashion. But I do sense you there's... Um, an energy here around these stones but also i'm also being drawn to the darkness to the blackness which is about protection and so i feel that you've got protection as well that's an added message with these two cards i feel guidance for pisces this one here we have full moon in Pisces and the new moon. So we have a new moon and a full moon energy. The new moon, a new start is coming very soon for you. So a new project is going to begin. Um, something new is going to enter your life or someone new may be entering your life. And the full moon, so it's about balancing spirituality and practicality making sure that things are in balance and not out of balance in your life. And I feel that this actually ties in with the message of detoxifying your life. 
if you detoxify your life, you will in fact be able to bring balance into your life more easily. And then in turn, allow this new beginning to take place, to come into your life. I'm also seeing the fish here. It's symbolic of finances, money and good fortune. So I do see luck is on your side this week and I'm also seeing um, you'll do very well financially or you'll be putting into place new things this week which will bring through um, abundance for you materially in some way. Okay, so let's see here. These cards are life purpose cards. So let's see what spirit wants to bring through. Time to decide. Environmentalist. And I feel one more card here. Heart's desires. Let's take a look at the first card here. Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. Because your wish, your desire will be able to come true. But only if you align your life to this point only if you align your life if you take the steps towards it if you think that you have a if you have a goal if you've got a dream if you have a if you if you know what your heart's true desire is but you don't take any steps towards it and you don't align your life toward it then it's not going to happen so you need to decide right now that you're going to do that and this week is perfect for that energy to play out in a positive way for you. Environmentalist. You're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture and teach about nature and the animals. So there's a connection to nature, animals and Gaia energy. You may be a teacher. You may be teaching someone. It might be a life purpose to teach in some respect to share knowledge of what you have with others. I'm also getting a strong protection. Yes, protection. I saw that with the blackness of these two uh, stones. So there's definitely protection around you and your loved ones, even if it feels like there isn't. Spiritually, there actually is. Spirit wants you to know that. And I feel the protection and nurturing, you are in fact wanting to nurture and protect someone that you love. So that's also coming through. Someone that you love. If it's not a person, it might not be for everybody. It's nurturing and protecting something valuable in your life. Some project perhaps or a hobby interest that you're really passionate about. You're wanting to see um, grow in your skill skill level you want to grow you know you're nurturing this it might be your own business you're nurturing your own business different things here you'll know what spirit is talking about if this is for you and this card here has desires the angels are supporting guiding and protecting you as your dreams become reality so going back to this card here time to decide your dreams your, your dreams, your heart's desires, they're the same thing. You decide that you're going to take some steps toward your true desires and it's going to come here. Your heart's true desires, heart's desires. Yeah, so something is going on here, Pisces. What does your heart truly desire at the moment? That's what you need to ask yourself and it may come as a very obvious thing for you. You have something on your mind you're wanting to complete, wanting to pursue, wanting to do. Well, that's what you need to start to take some really practical steps toward. You need to start to get the ball rolling in your life in that way. Guidance for Pisces. Let's see, Pisces. Okay, let's start with this card here. It is a seven of spring, the gecko. Be assertive, believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Trust that inner guidance. It is not wrong. It's actually proven you're right time and time and time again, Pisces. So don't let that shift right now. You might need to be assertive this week. Believe in yourself. Be assertive and just go for it. Don't let anyone take away your personal power. 
the nine of autumn, the ragdoll cat. Your success has brought you financial security and the reward of much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment opportunity that will be very successful. So you have um, something material, financial, business-wise, might be linked into your heart's desire, um, but it's definitely linked into uh, the luck here of the fish, uh, good luck, good timing coming into play and financial or material reward or that you're setting up for yourself. So you are comfortable in your home environment, you're comfortable in your lifestyle, that's all coming to fruition around you. The seven of winter. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables. So be careful you might lose something or um, something might, it might not go missing permanently. But just be careful where you place things so you can find them again. Including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. So it's always a good idea to read between the lines if your intuition is telling you to do so. If you get that feeling, then there's definitely something else going on and you really must look into it. The four of winter, the koala. Thoroughly think through things before making a decision. Continuing to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer will bring the answers you seek. And that's what I'm seeing here. Um, there's definitely an energy of going within and um, connecting into spirit to bring you the answers that you need. And I feel that this card, it echoes this one here. A decision needs to be made based on your heart's true desires. Don't overanalyze things. It's time to get a resolution. It's time to make that decision. Come up with a plan, perhaps. And the Ten of Spring. You're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life. That's important, Pisces. Take some time out to enjoy life. Do what you love, not just what you have to do. You may find that this week you have a lot of work on your plate. So delegate if you can. Uh, look at the bigger picture as well. And uh, make sure that you don't let stress uh overwhelm you okay that's really important because that will block clear decisions um, and it will stop this um, you being able to feel your heart's true desires you know whatever that is for you it's going to be you know it's going to be hindrance to that and spirit really does want to help you usher in this new start this this your dream coming true energy you have protection for it. All of these cards support it. It's just beautiful. It's been really wonderful to read for you, Pisces. I hope you've enjoyed the reading and it's been helpful for you in some small way. If you did like the reading, you can support the channel. You can press the like button. You can subscribe if you if you would like to, as you know, I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. Have a wonderful week, Pisces, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.